what's going on guys welcome back to another great madden video today um and to this in this video as you could tell by the title you could tell by who i'm playing i am playing that goose guy um and you are going to be seeing a lot of three four bear blitzes in this gameplay basically what these are are two fifty dollar games it'll be a hundred dollar series and let's just see how it goes it's right here mike evans is already out kind of glitchy animation i just kind of ran right by him let's see right here boys he's finally in three four bear i know this is second play i'm showing you guys but it's two games so i'm gonna kind of break it down it's right there randy moss is wide open um i know huddled he was in three four bear very very terrible coverage very very good blitz and it was just a wide open streak man so we're up seven zero game one of this hundred dollar series and if you don't know who Goose Guy is, he's been playing Madden for a couple uh, seasons now. He's a young, upcoming Madden player, and he is a cheese and toxic player. He runs 3-4 Bear, and he runs U-Trips, two of the hardest things to play against in Madden 21. It's right here, boys. It's a fourth down and two early, biggest play of the game thus far. And I don't know why, but I'm trying to get cute with it. User Montez Sweat. Um, this is a different version of Send 2, I guess you could say. And, you know, I think it would have done the job, except I have a low-depth purple out there. And he has route chems and route ability. So, man-to-man, -man, great call, except I had five purples out there. If I had a 10 or a 15, definitely would have got the job done right there. It's right here, boys. We're going to run cover to the left side. And damn, that's a dot. Um, Sean Taylor was in the middle of the field. My cover 2 was just kind of dumbing out. And that was like a fade going to the outside. So, it's an outside fade. And breaks away from that cover two in the deep half zone. Just a great dot from the U-Trips formation. And here goes this 3-4 pair, man. If you want the setup, ask him. But look at that. Insta pressure. I did send out five, obviously. But, I mean, even if I blocked my tight end, I think it still would have came in. So, right here, man. Fourth and four. I got to make a quick read. Be very fast with my reads. It's right here. We missed every single read in the book. I had running back wide open. Maybe the out route, but definitely the main priority read was a running back, and I completely missed that. So right here, third down and three, man. It is the red zone almost. And, you know, if we can hold the three, I'll be happy with the uh, outcome. It's right here. He's going to run a high ball crosser post. Nonetheless, he drops it. Very fortunate for myself. And I think a play before this, I kind of got blessed a little bit. But as you could tell, I'm showing the main plays. Not, I'm just going to cut to the next play. No need to see this field goal. It's right here, man. We're trying to max protect a little bit now. And it actually does a job. The blitz still comes in. But I still had a, like a second or two seconds more. And I'll definitely take that. Um, just something good to know when next time I play three, four bears. You know, you can max protect. You, you're still going to get blitz screened. But it'll give you like a second or two. It's right here, we're just going to run the ball off. And we almost get out of there. Except he has DK Metcalf with secure tackler. So, I mean, you could definitely run the ball in this three, four bear. It looks promising. But I just haven't had the run lanes yet right here boys we are gonna go for it and we dump it off to ezekiel elliott to no gain and i feel like i had a couple people up and rewind it real quick so man if you want to count his zones he has two zones on the right side plus his user definitely got to look there more it's right here we had r1 wide open maybe even the tight end but it's all good we're gonna kick our three that is the thing about three four bear man you're not gonna get that much time it's right here he absolutely blocks our blitz 146 blitz that is and gets a nice chunk of what 20 to 30 yards just a nice poco post corner read and he rolls out to make it more open great play design great play call as right here boys he is going to dial a hot one up once more at this u trips he's gonna hit this corner route man and i felt like it could have been a close call it definitely was a close call but cd lamb with that nice possession catch and boys i'm definitely mad about this one I feel like my user was there. I just didn't commit to it, man. And the easy touchdown. It was a little later at night when I was playing this game. And I usually play pretty ass at night. I'm not going to lie to you, boys. So if you want to beat me, if you want to pop me, just set up a night game. And you'll get me every time. Um, but he's going to go up 17-10. to 10, So, you know, we're deadlocked, tied 10-10. He goes up 17-10. And he gets ball at half. Definitely need at the minimum three points before half. So here we go, boys. Third and four. I'm kind of moving the ball. I need like about 10 to 15 yards for a field goal. And boys, look what happens. We're going to throw to R1. <sighs> Tip drill. Very unfortunate. Brings me some Madden 20 flashbacks with that 3-4 bear, those tip drill interceptions. But it's all good because he doesn't score seven, uh, at least off that interception right there. But, I mean, he still gets set up perfectly, man. I was pretty lucky. 
And uh, it's very unfortunate for us, but we guys still fight. Once more, he gets ball at half. He's going to get a two-possession lead at the minimum right here. Unless he does something dumb, which is going to be very hard to do. Is right here, he's going to set up his play. He's trying to beat my cover two again. It's just not there. He has a delayed fade action. Could have committed to that, but it's all good. Right here, we play safe defense. Same defense we just played. And, yeah, we're just going to get him to kick three before half. Once more, up 10, gets ball at half. We're going to have to try to get a stop and score. It's right here, boys. He is going to throw this slant. Just an easy dot, man. Um, you trips when you think you got everything covered, they just hit, boop hit you with a nice motion slant. And I could I could say the same for bunch as well. There's so many complexities to every offense, man. That when you do get hit with a slant, it's like wow, I really gave up a motion slant. But you know, it's because you're adjusting to everything else. It's right here. He's gonna motion, and um, he has a dot, man. He has a wide open dot. It's gonna result into him getting down around the two to three yard line. Four yard line, excuse me, but yeah, man. Emotion streak, like right after a motion slant. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm prepared for the motion slant now. And then boop, he hits me with that motion streak. Um, I know I could definitely play better defense. It was just like I said, I was playing pretty bad. And I was kind of thinking about that 3 4 bear in my head already. After a couple stops on the goal line, he decides to force this post inside. And there goes mid zone KO with DK Metcalf. And I'm not going to lie to you, boys, I definitely needed seven on that right there. Um, my offense wasn't looking really too good. If we get seven right there, I know I could bag him up, get the ball back, but we're gonna just have to try to beat this bear. The one good thing I got going for me, man, is that I have a rod, the god, great release, and you know I'm just trying to get a fluky animation. That's the thing about bear. I guess you can't I guess you could say it's not fluky, but you're gonna have like four to five defenders out there when you're sending all that heat. One broken tackle, one missed tackle, and we're out. And that's what I definitely need at this time of moment. Once more, we go with a max attack setup, and I think I have this cover three bomb. But no, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. He's right there. DK Metcalf with the interception right after I get one with my DK. And you know, you already know what's going on. I'm trying to get a safety right here. But I'm not that guy once more. Try to blow up the power. Oh, almost do. But it's going to get to the seven. This game is looking very bleak, boys. That's right here, boys. We have a chance to get back in the game, play great coverage, come down with Ronnie Lott, and boom, hit stick. But it doesn't matter. He gets pretty lucky once more. Uh, he's got a couple breaks, but I'm not going to lie. He's still out playing me on offense and defense. Um, I really don't know what to do against his offense, and I don't know what to do against his defense. Uh, but we do good in over G, as you can see right here, and boom, we are going to scream. See right here, he was kind of shook. He pump faked. You know someone's shook when they pump fake. I've done it, though, a couple of times in my in my Madden history. So, you know, I can't really say too much. That's right here, boys. Third and 14. This is how we get back in the game. He blocks our 146, delivers a strike. That's going to be GG's for game one. He is up $50. As you see, boom, we are into game two. Right here, we're going to start off the game with over G. Get a nice little El Toro shed from Lawrence Taylor. Decent defense. He had the post, but it would have been a tough throw. As once more, we are in the over G. We get clicked onto Justin Smith, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. He still has a wide open dot. My seam flats are guarding the seams. As you see right here is the issue with over G. Not, my, not getting set up enough in time, and just a simple streak beats me for seven. Um, that was pretty tough to you know see because I felt like, okay, I'm in over G. I've seen him get sacked once. I think maybe it's a move, and then boom, he hits me with a simple streak. And that's because over G, your players are going to be motioned over and out. The cornerbacks, you all know how it goes. That motion over is pretty lethal and pretty deadly. You guys probably want to see me get sacked from 3-4 Bear, right? Well, here you go. First play of the game, the second game. And right here, literally two people come in free. That setup is nasty. 3-4 Bear, definitely the best blitz in the game if you know how to set it up. If you, know, if you have the proper abilities, I believe he has like a bunch of acrobats, a couple mid-zone KOs. And uh, definitely, I think he has El Toros too. He's super toxic with it. Right here, a simple out route. That's the best thing I've had going for me. As this player gets absolutely sniped, we get all our yards back plus some um, 33 yards and a simple out. I definitely need it. See right here, my settings, conservative, 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 if you want those. It's right here. We're going to throw a blind read. Terrible read. And of course, he's going to pick it off. Boys, I, my man really plays the same coverage over and over again, and it's pretty frustrating. But the next time I play him, I will be good. He plays a soft squat, and I'm going to rewind it real quick. Peep the, the soft squat. 
In my mind, man, the soft score on the left is going to bite down on the out route. And it just doesn't. For like 5 to 10 yards, it just won't. And see right here, that looks like a cloud, like a like a hard flat. Like, like it's just it just matches on, man. And I feel like that should not match on. Soft squats are pretty glitchy for that, man. Um, you know, it should be like 5 to 10 yards and they don't match. But the thing is, the blitz is coming in so fast. I got to make a read. Kind of just panic through something. Big third down here, boys. He is near field goal range. And we scream team 146. Still one of the best. As he's going to go no huddle, we're going to call a timeout to make sure we're good. Once more, same adjustments. Cover two shell. Blitzing six or five. And right here, he is going to have nothing at all. Just a proper bag. Um, hook curl was on 10 to 15. It guarded that post for enough time as it needed it to. Streak wasn't open. And, you know, Montez said, I got you, Pav. And we got a score right here. That's what we're looking to do. As Zeke... Zeke and Zeke. We're going to break it loose with Zeke. Time to feed Zeke, man. Uh, I don't know, even know what. 38-yard touchdown, something like that. 42-yard touchdown, something like that. Either way, I'll take it. Great play, design. Just simple base. Sometimes you just call, call base and go. And, boys, I'm liking the over G a little bit. We decide to play coverage right here. He has a couple things wide open, but that is not one of them. He may have had that earlier, but, boys, Mike Evans' six foot five acrobat is a cheat code. He literally morphed that ball. He had no business playing that, and we will definitely take that. Definitely got to score right here and even up the game. Uh, maybe even take the lead. We get ball at half. Even up the series is what I meant to say. Guys, I want you to pay attention to his free safety. I'm not too sure who it is, but we are going to dot this up. It looks open, but Ramsey gets back there and plays it. But nonetheless, we get a pretty fortunate animation. And, man, I feel like I've got two freebies this game. Definitely need it versus 3-4 Bear, you trips guy. And, I mean, this game, I, I have to win this game. If I lose this game, that'd be pretty wild. It's right here, third and two, man. We're going to send the dogs off that left side. And the blitz just doesn't get home for us, man. Post is wide open. We try to click on. And, wow, just super unfortunate. Our user fell down. Don't think I would have got there. But, nonetheless, just a great play to slow down any types of momentum I had. It's right here, man. Third and 15. He is going to dump it off. I was trying to send the dogs, trying to get some blitz. And sack him out of field goal range, but I mean, we'll, we'll take that. Going up four, get ball at half. If we score even seven right here, this game might be cooked. Right here, we decide to freestyle a little bit. I was trying to see if Max Tech was going to work. Answer that is no. I tried to get my playmaker to playmaker really quickly, but that was not happening. Jadavion Clowney comes in free. Intentional grounding, definitely. It's right here, second and 20. It's going to be tough to get these uh, set of downs. But we're going to go to bunch tight end. Whenever I need a big play, I'm going to bunch tight end. Looking for Mike Evans right here. Looking for something quick, fast. And right there, we hit Mike Evans. Great pass to get us 10 yards. Easy 10 yards. And right here, boys, we are going to go back once more to Brandon Ayuk. And I feel like I would have got that first down, except I got hit. So, I mean, I don't know how that blitz came in that fast. I feel like it was simple out route. I could have thrown it with timing. But I just didn't have enough time. We're going to decide to punt it because I don't believe that he's that guy on offense. Even though he's shown me he's that guy, I still don't believe he's that guy. After a great first down play, we decide to send two. And we almost get home, except he has great pocket. Something else about U trips is you get a lot of time in the pocket. I know D Croft and Goose have great pocket, but U trips helps that out a lot. I don't know what it is about that formation that just gets great blocking. But right here, we are going to send the dogs. And once more, easy read to Zeke. And my send five, it was not sending five. Like, he wasn't coming in in time. He sent out five. I sent five. No blitz threat at all. He had a lot of time in the pocket. But this play right here, boys, is going to guarantee he get a field goal. DK Metcalf was there. It just wasn't there, even with that deep mid-zone KO. And he's guaranteed a field goal at this point. Just don't give him seven, and we will be good. That's right here, boys. We get in 146 just to play a little bit of coverage. And we guard anything deep. If he had playmaker, maybe he playmakers that up, but... We are going into half with a one-point lead, and we get a ball out of half. Big possession on the way. Once more, going into bunch tight end, man, and look at this crosser. Let me know what you guys think about that. Definitely a very close call. Maybe should have been picked, but I feel like that was open when I threw it. And it's just something about that crosser timing when you throw it that, I don't know, man. I wish I was just a post and I could pass it up. It's right here. We are going to low ball this to Brandon IU. Get us our five. Make it convertible third down. And here we go, boys. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to feed Zeke. 
He beats him on that table route, and we are gone. Just got to get a little sticky. Got to get another freebie, and there he goes. Time to feed Zeke. Get really sticky with it one time, and, you know, just made a couple defenders miss. And there he goes, feeding Zeke, man. And uh, that was a big touchdown. Once more, another freebie. I've, all my points have come on, like, free plays, I guess you could say. Um, you know, a, my first one came on. I can't even remember. Uh... I know my second one came on some type of deep play, the streak, of course. And then the third one, last but not least, was just a simple Zeke table route. So I definitely, the first one was the base. So definitely haven't really had too much to do on offense. I've been playing all right defense, but we definitely got to win this game. That's right here, big sack by Lawrence Taylor. And he just gets there in the nick of time before A-Rock could throw it away. Huge sack. It's right here at third and nine. We play great defense, except we can't guard the delay fade, and we can't get a freaking pass breakup. And that hurts, honestly, boys, because I feel like I played a great defense, and I just always forget about the delay fade, man. Uh, that would have definitely secured probably us the game. I don't know if that was a third or fourth down, but he tries to audible. We blow it up. We still have great life. And once more, third and 11, one, four, six time. We kind of get quick hiked. And guess what's about to happen? We're about to give up the dot of a lifetime. So the play before, he did not have that pose. This time he had the pose, and he didn't have the delay fade. So it's like, bro, he goes back to the same play over and over again, and I can't defend it. What is going on? on to be fair, that last play was a post corner compared to this one was a just normal post. Uh, but nonetheless, the delay fade got me messed up, man. It got me messed up. After a series of great dots, I end up getting him to a third and goal on the one he scores anyways we're still up by two let's see if he goes for two and what his two point conversion play is it's right here he's just gonna call a power o somebody give me some run d give this dude a manual word to chris move if you know you know nonetheless i still can't believe i'm giving up power o's in june just the easiest run play to shoot or even bag and i'm giving them up for two point conversions in a tight game like this it's right here, man. We're just trying to get three, maybe kill a little clock. Um, if we could get three and kill this clock, that'd be great. It's right here. Great dot. What a dot, man. We just split the seams. Calvin with that wide catch. Amazing animation. Tight end Calvin is the best. I don't think anyone else could do this. You see right here. He just extends for the ball. No acrobats. No deep KO cheese. And right here, we catch him a field goal block, but he calls a timeout. Wish I could have got another freebie, man, honestly right here man we are just looking for r1 and there he goes that's what i could throw honestly a lot of the plays a lot of the downs um just gotta watch out for those low low deflections that you know get spiked up in the air and caught by the d-line because i feel like that's just there for the taking every play see right here we're going back to the same play design man and this time he plays coverage but it's all good because we have him wide open and guess what boys i told you about that damn soft squat dropping down and he drops down. We're going to rewind it. So in the chat, I don't want to see any of y'all say, you had Mike Evans. You had Circle. You had B. I know I had him. He broke at literally the last second when I was throwing. I uke the ball. I was pretty damn shook when I seen that. But it's all good. We could still get this seven. We could still milk some clock. I mean, bro, what is up with these soft squats? See right here? We're almost able to break it out. Base almost pretty much kills this off uh, this bear if you are able to make that one last guy miss We decided to freestyle a little bit big. No, no in these type of scenarios Why am I even freestyling when this game is such a tight game like that and we get sacked? I honestly could have played a hitch on that left side and just taken my yards something I will do in the future when I play bear But look at bear man three four bear. It's too good. It's right here We're gonna run the ball. You know, we're gonna run the ball We're trying to get our field goal and not getting sacked out of field goal range and guess what? We almost get taken out of field goal range anyways. Thank God we have Janikowski, good old Jano. And he's going to knock this down for us from 60 with ease. Not no normal 60, 60 with ease. And we almost miss it to the right, but look how accurate that kick is. Time to lock up just one time. Boys, honestly, I have not been able to get a stop as of late. And there goes Zeke on getting way too many yards. I feel like if anything, he should have probably got like 5 to 10. Ends up getting like 17 on that, man. And that's on me. I played a deep loop, but I still have terrible pursuit angles out there. It's right here. He's going to run the ball, and he ends up getting like two yards. But pretty much he's in field goal range. Like, if you get another five yards, he would be in field goal range. And there goes that, man. Now we just got to pretty much stop him 
from scoring seven because if he scores seven boys i don't think i'm gonna win this game at all we play a little bit of man coverage see how that does and it does really really well man uh it's great to see and you know it also hurts to say that i never didn't really didn't run man at all these past two games and you know it sucks to see that and like oh wow now it, man is stopping him but like i said this game is still in our hands we have the lead we're on defense and it's third and eight and we go back to man one last time i feel like i've been go running a lot of man on these third downs in reality i should just be blitzing the shit out of him on one four six because in reality a lot of people can't pick it up we're disguising this man look up very very well um it looks like i'm blitzing with that sean taylor on that left side and right here i'm telling you bros i put rod woodson in a purple and he goes somewhere else and i was putting rod woodson in that purple to that left side i think the purple will register as a right side something they gotta change asap see right there rod woodson was just hovering in no man's land easy dot like just such an easy dot for no reason man i played pre pretty good coverage could have been a coverage sack and i also have a bad user be but the bad user was because i kind of relied on my rod woodson to be to be in the area where i wanted him to be fumbling my words but you know what i'm trying to say it's right here i don't know how we picked up that blitz he sent out a lot of people i literally sent six but he's going no huddle man and this is where it gets scary the quick hike the no huddle he has this little flat wide open we get a good decent tackle and bounce and right here he's gonna quick hike it go no huddle again except we call a timeout so this could be a mistake boys could maybe not be a mistake but i feel like i maybe should have let him call hike who cares if I get quick hack because what you're about to see right here is going to be pretty crazy. Um, we're running man once again. He started to catch on and there's a cloud out there, man. And I think I had a 20 cloud, but it doesn't matter. What a crazy lob. He gets down to the one. Just a heartbreaking sequence of events. He's dotting me up. I can't even get a dot and it's just crazy to say, but you know, he's down on the one. This game is looking like an L for us. Two straight L's. And right here, man, we gotta have a goal line stuff. We gotta have we gotta have a hold the door moment. There's no hold in the door for Derrick Henry. That's gonna be it, boys. This is our final play. We try to dump it to Zeke. We actually have one more play now. And here we go, man, for the series to extend it for my hundred dollars for everything. We try to throw something, but in reality, there's just no throwing anything. And we almost get this and catch it, but it's because I was past the line of scrimmage. GG's in the chat to Goose, man. Great series. You see right here the stat line. We didn't even play bad. 82%. But the fact of the matter is he had way more yards than me. He had the same percentage as me. And I don't think I think he threw one pick, maybe two, and I threw the same amount. And it comes down to him scoring 15 in the fourth. Just a terrible fold by your boy. And we'll get right. As you see right here, this is Rod Woodson just dumbing out. Try to put him in a purple. I don't even know what that is, honestly, boys. And right here, just simple. Just me messing up. But till next time, boys, if you like these series, let me know. $100 on the line. We end up losing, but we're going to be all right. We're going to bounce back. I'm going to hit him up again and see if he would like to rematch. Like the, that right now. Like that like button if you want to see a rematch. Comment if you want to see a rematch. Comment if you want me to play someone else. I'm down to play anyone for money, for not money. Just down to see what's going on. Those money games definitely get me hype, and I know you love to watch them too. Something on the line. Till next time, boys. Catch you. Peace.